Hello and welcome on 360 Sport on Trust TV. I am Adeni Aji Shafer. Time to take you around the world of sports as we look at activities that happened just uh, yesterday, precisely. A lot of uh, uh, games we actually play over there in NBA and also we'll be looking at football. Not forgetting the fact that Nigerian vice captain has moved on to join an Italian team over there in Salanitana. More of this to come as we start from the MPFL. Well, match day three, the match that was played between Rivers United and Niger Tornadoes, right now generating a lot of uh, controversy there. Let's look at the first story. MPFL Tornadoes succumbed to champions Rivers United in a controversial win. The match ended uh, in favor of uh, Rivers United, the host uh, team. But uh, in that particular game, the goal scored by uh, Niger Tornadoes were actually disqualified. And that has been generating a lot of uh, uh, complete uh, from fans that support Niger Tornadoes that that particular goal should have actually uh, stand. But from the way it is, the MPFL referee that actually referred that game said, well, let that game uh, go be cancelled. We'll be looking at this particular story with Joseph Peter. Good to have you, Joseph. Thank you for having me, Mr. Gloria. Good one for that particular, uh, uh, for the way it is right now. Uh, Rivers, Niger Tornadoes, that match, even though Rivers won, but uh, Niger Tornadoes are not happy about it. The game was keenly ten con contested. I saw the goal. In my own opinion, it's a goal. Mm. The goalkeeper completely misjudged. He came out, it was a corner kick. He came out and then wasn't able to punch the ball away. And it landed for uh, Niger Tornadoes goalkeeper mm. um, player who shot the ball into the net. It was a clean goal, as far as I'm concerned. It's not as if there was any form of dragging. Mm. There was no any form of infringement. I can't say there's any form of infringement. As you can see, he, you see he missed the ball. There was nobody marking the, the, the Niger Tornadoes uh, player. He, mm. ra he ran to the ball, rushed it, and kicked it into the net. Would and you have called this a, it's not offside? It's not offside. It, it's because a corner. Niger Tornadoes are the one wearing red. Exactly, but what the, I'm saying is... You the, have two players from, the, uh, at least at his front. There is no way you can place this as a corner kick, mm. as, as, a, as an offside, because it's a corner kick. Mm. The ball has already, is already at the edge of the field, that's at that corner spot. Mm. And if it's been kicked from that place, it has cancelled whoever is coming from being offside. Mm. Were, you, you, were, no, you, were you a referee before? <laughs> I know, I, I, I was, I'm a footballer. Okay. I, I still play football for fun. I know these things. And... It's actually very, very strange that that goal was cancelled. And I am glad that the referee is being summoned because of this goal. Well, that particular match uh, between Rivers United versus Niger Tornado was right now generating a lot of issues there. We just saw that particular clip where that goal was cancelled. Although right now we wait for the NFF uh, committee to see what they will be talking about that game uh, between Rivers United and uh, uh, Niger Tornado. Now, looking at the way the table is standing, yes, sir, now they won that particular match. So Rivers United are actually topping their group in Group B. They have seven points now after playing three matches. Abia Warriors, Niger Tornado those are standing third. They didn't move where they are now. They are third. They are six point. And you have Lobby Stars, Dakada, Doma, Bielsa, Sunshine, Enugu, and Wiki Torres. But for Rivers United, Niger Tornadoes. Uh, if eventually, by the time they review this game and they're trying to like award it, then it's going to be like each person will actually get a point. Yeah, each, each person will come. Will, will, uh, Niger or rather, each uh, team. No, yeah. Uh, Rivers United uh, points will be deducted from seven, it will become six instead. And I strongly suggest that because we just a week ago we were happy that the officiating of our league is far far better. Everybody was celebrating it, uh, which is normal, which should be the normal, uh, which should be the norm. But right now with this kind of controversy, a very clean goal like that. I mean, look at the goal. We all mm. saw the goal. It's a very very clean goal, and then the referee denying it or removing the the the, the, uh, the goal. It's just so obscene. I, I mean, oh, are, we, I, I want, are we seeing another home must win uh, yeah. mentality? This is obviously home must win mentality by the referee. I don't understand. You know, there should be scuffles, maybe an offside or something. Hmm. But look at this goal. The goalkeeper went, normally keepers will come out thinking they can get to ball, and he missed it. And that uh, Tornado player fired just, him. Uh, hey, fired. He didn't touch anybody. It's not as if the, he, he, he was uh, struggling with any of the Rivers United uh, player in order to hit the ball. He was free. He shot the ball into the net. I don't understand why the referee would look at that and will not award that goal. I, I feel like this winning mentality is still the in that, win. yeah, in that, in that referee. And hmm. something has to be done because we were just about praising the, uh, the uh, IMC 
for the officiating of previous week and we don't need it truncated. Our joy that we are getting from that particular aspect of refereeing should not be truncated. I think something should be done mm. about this. We are talking about the MPFL there. That match between Niger uh, Tornado versus Rivers United. A big one there. We wait to see what will be happening from the IMC, NFF, MPFL. Let's see what will be happening concerning that game. Although today another one will be coming up between Remo Stars, the two stars team, Remo Stars versus Shooting Star will be played in Alba Day and Ikene and that game will be coming up by 4 p.m. MPFL match day three. Remo Stars host Shooting Stars in Ikene. It's going to be a tough one because we know that Remo are yet uh, to lose a game and right now they are fired up also trying to see what they can do in that particular match. Uh, and I heard, uh, I read something uh, that the the uh, Shooting Stars uh, fans were being warned to condone themselves mm -hmm. and make sure that uh, they wear the spirit of sportsmanship and don't come, and don't come there the yeah, to cause problem. It's going to be a tough one. Mm -hmm. It's a very, very tough game. And I bring more on the winning sp uh, sp spree. And they, they are good. But last season, you saw what they did. We all saw what they did. And it's like that momentum is still there. I, I expect them to at least take this, this, this three points in this particular game. And hopefully we have an, an entertaining game without any form of uh, problem or any form of uh, uh, maybe uh, distant uh, uh, rioting from the from the from the fans. Mm. Good one out there. Talking about the matter be coming up between shooting stars and Remo stars. A big one out there between the star teams. They'll be fighting for honors in that particular match today in Kenya. There. Now we talk about uh, MPFL. We just have to look, talk about our own first. But right now, let's talk about the NBA. A lot of people love uh, basketball out there. We need to look at uh, a man that has really done well for himself, scoring at least 40 plus points against any NBA teams now in his career. Talking about LeBron James, we'll be looking at uh, uh, the NBA alongside Kabiru Lawa, who is a basketball enthusiast, uh, who is actually in the studio. Let's talk uh, some basketball, KB. Yeah, good morning. Nice to have you, sir. Uh, good one. Uh, talking about uh, basketball, let's look at the result for the actually uh, at least about seven games played just uh, earlier today. We have Indiana Pacers 116 against Chicago Bulls. Uh, they won that game by 1-95. You have uh, Miami Heat winning by three points ahead of Boston Celtic 95. And you have uh, New York Knicks 105 against 103 Cleveland Cavaliers. Where you have uh, uh, New Orleans Pelicans 98-99 against Denver Nuggets. Just a point, but they win is a win. Mm. Dallas Mavericks 126 against Washington Wizard actually won by a point where Wizard winning that game there. You have Phoenix Suns 128 against Charles Hornet 97 while LA Clippers cleave the wings of uh, <laughs> LA Lakers where LeBron James did well. He scored more than 40 points but he couldn't save his team mm. as he lost that game against Los Angeles Lake, uh, Clippers. Mm. Now Kabiru, let's dwell on that particular game. Los Angeles Lakers versus LA Clippers mm. uh, from the Western Conference. Yes, uh, from the Western Conference, actually, when you talk about LA Clippers, you know, penultimate to the beginning of this season, mm. the same thing that happened just tonight happened to uh, LeBron James. Mm. This is the 10th consecutive time LA Clippers will whip LA uh, Los Angeles Lakers. Mm. This is the 10th time in the Western, because right now they are the fifth in the Western Conference, uh, while the uh, LeBron James uh, and his crew are on 13th. And that's so you can see the gap. They, they have 15 teams. They have 15 teams there, exactly. And they are the 13th right now in that Eastern Conference. Because like LeBron James had 46 points yesterday. He has mm. nine three points. He has eight rebounds. Uh, while Paul George from LA, LA Clippers, he had um, three points. He had like six three points, eight rebounds, and two assists, which is a very good statistic. But right now, I think uh, our attributes... Uh, yesterday's match to what happened uh, to them in the first match, I was talking about LeBron James. Right now, they are both tired. Like, look at Achimura has now joined LA Lakers now, just because they need to, like, play more of offensive than being defensive this time around. Mm. Yeah, because Lakers, uh, LeBron James, just, uh, you know, down himself from an injury. Uh, Anthony Davis, same thing. Uh, Armstrong injury. All these people are tired. I want to read right now, it's a guard that will a kind of help LeBron James in the front line before picking it into the trapezium. Mm. Because you can't just be playing offense without defense, and you can't play defense without offense. It has to be 50-50. But most time in basketball, you, it's more offensive because there's no offside. Mm. Once a pass goes, it's, it's being counted. So I think uh, the, LA Clippers, the LA Clippers really need to work more so that in, their, in other matches, 
they can, of course, tally themselves. But for the LeBron James, uh, for the LA Lakers, LA Lakers yeah. mm. I think they've gone far. Taking a look at uh, what LeBron, jo uh, LeBron James has done, he has broken a very big record. Now he's about, in two weeks' time, according to statistics right now, in two weeks' time, he will tally himself up with Karib Abdul-Jabbar, who has 38,870 points. Mm. In two weeks' time, LeBron James will do that because in a match, like 10 consecutive uh, times now, he has scored 40 points in a match each, PPA, just mm. in a match. He scored no, re no rebound, no assist, no blocks, just 43 points. You understand? In that kind of game, if a player is doing this in NBA, <laughs> I think no string can pull him down for now. LeBron James is real doing good. A good one there. If you love basketball, just giving you some analysis there from uh, Kabiru Lawa talking about uh, LA Lakers versus LA Clippers. Though they lost that game, but LeBron, the King James, showcasing his talent. Right now, he has scored four, more than 40 points with against any club in the NBA. What a record that that man actually has set for himself. And right now, he's edging his name to actually close that gap against uh, Karim al Jabbar, mm -hmm. at least to be the highest uh, score. Uh, they're talking about points scorer uh, over there in the NBA. Thank you very much, uh, Kabiru. It's my pleasure. It's my pleasure. Good morning. Now, let's uh, quickly go on the short break. By the time we'll return, we'll take you more into the world of sports. Good one there, We're talking about the NBA, at least having a look at concerning basketball. Now let's go back to football, where we're actually dwelling before that time. We're talking about the EFL Cup, where the semi-final uh, match between the first leg, rather, between Newcastle versus uh, Southampton at St. Mary's, favored the Newcastle, the edge uh, Southampton by that particular one goal uh, to win that. Joe Linton coming to the rescue for Newcastle, and they were able to win. Looking at that particular uh, match right now, I have uh, uh, Joe and and uh, Noel Samson, they will be talking concerning that. Noel Samson, Southampton versus Newcastle was as, uh, more of a uh, Premier League match, but actually it was uh, EFL semi-final. What's your take on this? Yeah, it was a, quite a, a good match. Uh, Newcastle edged their Southampton. So we have respected that already because uh, Newcastle have been, let's say, the form of their life mm. currently now. So it was something that we really expected that, okay, this was going to happen. Well, you know, if we go as magic, anything happens, but it was pre... We, we already expected that this was going to be because Newcastle played against uh, Arsenal, the Drew Arsenal, played against uh, Chelsea. Yeah, we, we, knew, we knew what the result was, so we expected it, so it wasn't... Uh, I will use stammering when you mention Chelsea. You're <laughs> 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 stammering. Uh, are you actually... Uh, you are not too bold enough to talk no, about... No, no, no. <laughs> Chelsea, I don't, I don't know why you always speak on Chelsea. Uh, I'm not speaking on Chelsea. I'm only saying... Well, you were saying, we know what you can... Uh, why were you stammering? <laughs> no, no, no. And, no, and, no. and he didn't mention the result. <laughs> no, no, was no. He did not want zero to zero. <laughs> the, I, I don't want to mention his. <laughs> okay, okay. Let, let, let's just say you are taking it easy on your club. No, 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 no problem. No. We would understand if you are doing that. But yesterday, the game was quite hot. It was contested the way the way I expected it to be. I knew that Southampton they are they are they are kind of building momentum right now, and I knew that it wasn't going to be just easy for for Newcastle to just knock them around. I, I saw the game. Newcastle will attack. Southampton will attack. And they, it was both ways. At the end. Uh, Newcastle, who are the deserved 
uh, winners got to uh, edge uh, Southampton out and qualify for uh, the final. And I'm happy for what they have achieved so far. Eddie Howe is really doing good in that club. The players, the, the, way, he, he, the way he kind of like uh, tweaked the squad, because we all know that Joe Linton was a striker. He was bought as a striker, mm -hmm. but he's playing him now on the flank. Mm -hmm. And sometimes he even plays him as, as a, 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 a right wing, a, a left winger, a left wing. Left so, wing back. Yeah, left wing back. Thank you very much. So, and he gives him the results, the performance which he requires. The coach gets it from Joe Linton. Look at Miguel Almiron came as with, with high expectation, but we wasn't getting what we expected from him. Since Eddie Howe came in, he has become a completely changed player. We look from us now yeah. to the same thing. Also. We look. Look at how matured we look is getting. When Newcastle were bought and players started coming in, slowly I was thinking we look was not going to make the team. I was kind of thinking in that squad there are lots of good good players coming in but still willock has kind of matured and he has taken the next step on his in his game and he's very very aware now what willock used to lack before was awareness he played for arsenal i've seen him right from the boy i've always known that he lacked awareness was this, this time around his awareness is good he knows what he's doing he knows the space to run to he knows he even nick goals and yeah, i mean exactly. so there's a lot of improvement to the to the to the to the Newcastle squad. Look at their defense. Fabian Shah from nowhere he has become. He imposes himself upon strikers now. Uh, so all credit anyway goes to Eddie Howe for what he's doing and the management of Newcastle United for the for the backing they are giving him. Well, while we're talking about that, I know the Chelsea man doesn't want us to always talk about <laughs> Chelsea, but really, uh, your, your, your club, one way or the other, they will bounce back. It doesn't mean that's the end, so don't feel bad. Yeah, actually, from, uh, from the past two games, the match against Crystal Palace was quite better than other matches. Mm. Then against Liverpool, it was quite, it's, there was a kind of improvement. But if I'm having that, is now okay. Now you have both players, a lot of players, and you have about 10 to, uh, 10 to 9 Chelsea players on the sideline, and most of them will be, most of them are having like those like two weeks, three weeks to come back. Now most of them are coming back after January. How do you not cope with these players now? Hmm. Is the major problem? I, I don't know what to, I don't know what to say about it because now they have Kante is back to training, James is back to training, Sim Police is back to training, um, Stanley is back to training, Fofana is back to training, hmm. and the other players that are they already some of them they are maybe probably by fe mid February they are back, and now you are having. Or your bot set of players, how will you now cope? That is the problem I'm actually having with mm, Chelsea. Maybe, maybe just, now. just take you from Nigeria to London to go and do the coaching <laughs> but, job there. But, but, but um, they have they've not stopped signing, they are still they going still for a more. player in Olympic Leo. They still want to buy more, they still want to sign Enzo Fernandez, and they have. Three senior team players. But I think they are trying to build the team. Yes, we, like, yes. In the next two years. We know we know they are trying to build. But this kind of situation causes disunity in the dressing room. Mm. Do not the think senior if there's players, no form of disunity. There will the, be unity within this, them. Unity has to you, be. You think, them. but we you think, Chelsea, you think. We, don't, we do not fight in our club. Okay, we fine. You can win. sit here and defend your club. We are not Manchester United that will be fighting. It does not matter that people like ZH will not be able to get into the team. Anymore. He has to prove himself. He has always been there. But well, look at the match against you, Liverpool. You guys signed he, up. He, he played a very nice game, up, but you signed up Sterling. You signed, you signed up Sterling. That was a bad sign for me, actually. Oh, for you. For me, it was a bad sign. But signing. not for them. They paid huge money for him. And he's going to come and want to play as a senior man that he is. Senior man, my pocket. He has to prove that he's a senior the man, point, not by name. Okay, I am not even attacking Chelsea right now. Okay. What I am trying to do is to make a point. You don't gather 33 senior team footballers in one club. You have no right, to talk, squad. You have no right to talk against Chelsea. I am not speaking against you Chelsea. You have no right and to speak I'm against Chelsea. I'm not speaking. If, you, if only I will finish. You have no right to if speak against Chelsea. If only you allow me to only finish. Only the true fans are to speak for Only I'm allow, allow me to finish. Okay, 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 let, okay. Let, me call, let me come in. Where you, at least uh, they, they know you in England. Uh, yes, yes. I'm, re I'm, re I'm a registered Chelsea fan. You are a registered Chelsea yes, fan. Yes, he's registered online. He's not a ticket holder. We want to see your It's because I'm not in UK. If I to be in UK, What's the way to go now? At least the studio is getting hot there between the Chelsea fan and the Arsenal fan really dragging themselves concerning football. It can always be very uh, exciting when you see this happening. But right now, let's quickly move away from that and talk about Italians today, where Lazio they did well against AC Milan 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 nil against AC Milan in Rome. What happened to AC Milan? That game was a fantastic one for Lazio. 
Yesterday it was like AC Milan were tired. The only person kicking was Liao and maybe Tonali. But every other person, they were just tired. Cryer, cryer in the back with Tomori. I don't know what they were. They, they, they were all over the place. Mm. But I must give credit to Lazio. Lazio kicked into gear yesterday. Sergei Milinkovic Savic was doing whatever he likes with the ball. And Anderson was also great. And if you looked at the way they were playing, pressing high up, taking the ball and turning it into attack immediately and going to get those goals. It wasn't up to, I think it wasn't up to five minutes when they got their first goals. And we all thought that AC Milan would come back into the game, but no. I think, I don't want to say it's fatigue, but I think AC Milan are kind of, mentally, they are, they are, they are down. They are down. I really saw it yesterday, but I saw also a resurgent Lazio yesterday, and it's a good result for them. Sorry to the defending champions, but right now we all know who the, the champion is going to be already. Already we know. Well, we we'll wait to see truly if uh, Joseph Vita is actually making that particular point clear there. Let's look at the way the table is standing over there, Italia, today after that particular match. Napoli are still there topping. Uh, they have 50 ahead of AC Milan. Well, Lazio right now, that has actually given them a chance to actually go closer. Uh, they have 37 points playing after playing 19 matches, a 20 uh, goal difference. AC Milan have 30 eight a point just ahead of Lazio Inter Roma Atalanta in that pecking order you have Udinese uh, Torino Empoli and Juventus uh, being dog 15 points now find themselves in the 10th position uh, from the way it is uh, Fiorentina Bologna Monza are trailing uh, from 11 to 13 Lecce Spezia Salanitana Sassuolo Verona Sampdoria are uh, all down the bottom of the table. But right now, from the way it is, let's go back to the uh, fourth side of the table. Napoli, from the way they are standing right now, 50 points from 19 matches. <laughs> they are leading with extra 12 points. Uh, we call this OT law. <laughs> There's nothing that can stop, except God. Mm. We'll stop Napoli now. 12 points from and... That's uh, stop them if you can. Yes, yeah, so catch me if you can. Uh, let's mm. go now. You said we see boots. Twelve you, points. It's when we see boots is right. The other people have well. Okay, they are hand. now using boots. Yes, because <laughs> fifty to thirty-eight, the gap. And I'm not sure Napoli they want to lose any match again, hmm. because now these fifty points give them more the ginger more to play more. So to, it should, to me, they should give them the cup now. Now why why would they give them? Anything <laughs> can still happen. <laughs> well, as long as, as, long, as long as four matches, anything can happen. As long as Kravashalia hmm. and and Osimen are still in that are score. still in that squad, and I. And they keep this form, then I think it's going to be a hundred point ah. winner for them this time. Seriously, around. I seriously believe they can do it. Okay, nineteen more to go, right? Yes. Nineteen yes. more to go, and they can, they can, they can do it. Hmm. And then, I'm happy for Napoli, because ever since Maradona, nineties, yeah, eighty nine, ninety, that was the last time. They, that was the last time they won the league. Hmm. Since Maradona, they've not gone close to winning the league. But this is this is their year. This could be the year for Napoli that played the city of Naples there. Talking about Osime and Barashkelia. All that particular squad, all the players there, they are fighting hard to see how they can topple and win this Scudetto. Giving you updates concerning Italia and Serie A there. Let's go German now. German Bundesliga, so matches we actually played. We have Shakao for losing uh, if we have wide magic against RB Leipzig. Leipzig not even pitting them at all. Shakao for one, Leipzig six. Cologne won, Bayern Munich sharing the spoil there, 1-1. One, one. And you have Hatta Berlin also losing woefully against Wolfsburg, 5-0. You have 1899 for him against uh, Stuttgart, ending 2-2 two, two draw. But those uh, matches, Shaka, although Shaka have been at the bottom of the table. Let's look at the table, the way it's standing right now. Bayern are still top, uh, looking at the fact that they were able to draw. They are still topping there with uh, 36 points, followed by Leipzig, who actually defeated Shaka by 6-0. They have 32 points, 4 adrift Bayern. You have Frankfurt, Union Berlin, Freiburg, Wolfsburg, who also won by five uh, goals. Borussia Dortmund, uh, Bonche Gladbach, Leverkusen, Cologne. And if you flip it back to the bottom of the table, you look at Sevilla, uh, rather, I your pardon, Shaka 04. Shaka 04 right now, they are having nine points. What is happening to Shaka? Uh, playing 17 matches, a minus 27 goal difference. Hatta Berlin also struggling. Augsburg, both comes to guard in that pecking that but for Shaka 04, Peter, you want to tell me that what's happening to Shaka 04? I remember when Agali was in that squad at that time, they were not those forces to be reckoned. Two, three years ago, Shaka was still a force to be reckoned. Mm. Until a year and a half ago, or two years ago rather, 
when it all started. And then they got relegated. That's how bad it happened to them. They got relegated, went down to uh, uh, Bundesliga 2, and still made their way back. But when you come back and you don't learn from your previous mistake, then you get yeah, to exactly fail again. Because I the likes of uh, Julio Dracula was there before. Yeah, uh, PSG yeah. bought him from uh, Schalke. From, from Schalke. But I don't know. I don't even know what is happening over there at Schalke for Because they are one of the major teams we know in Germany. But right now, they are just conceding goal left, left right, and center. Anybody comes and you know that Shaka is, Shaka is going to lose. Short plug. Short plug. As long as you, they are facing any other club, you know that they are losing. In how many games? It's like 19, 20 games and, and 16, 17 games, and they're having only seven points. And <laughs> I, I what are they doing over there? I don't it's, know what they're doing over there. Probably are not training. Who knows? <laughs> no, but why won't you learn from your mistake? This happened about three seasons ago. They got relegated because of the now same thing. they are back. They are back. They're pretty the same mistake. And then the same thing is happening again. It's more like a course or something. <laughs> Maybe they should get you guys to be their coach. <laughs> Both of you. We'll assistant do, coach and the main coach. We'll do better. Seriously. Yes. What's the way to end the program this uh, hour? Uh, the Noel Samson and also uh, Joseph Peter. Thank you Thank very you. much. The pleasure is mine, sir. And you? Thank you, sir. And also for Kareem Lawa, Donny Aldous, uh, at least uh, the NBA analysis there. Good one for, to him also. I am Adeniyi Aji Shafe. Sport is always business and fitness. Thanks for watching.